Well, hello friends and lurkers and welcome back to another episode of Supermarket Simulator. In the last one, um, we became debt free, we have no more debt. I've been helping on the checkouts a lot because Billy Bob's getting a bit stressed. Um, I have just restocked everything I have and bought everything I could. Which has left me with $23 and of course we still need like honey, there's a few, we've got like one of this left, like we're just going to have to buy it as the money starts rolling in because I just did not have enough money to buy everything. Um, but yeah, let's just jump straight in and let's just see how the day goes. I figured out you can actually just put stuff on the shelves and it saves you having to like um, run next door for it. If I can get it to look neat that is. This is a customer announcement. Being an adult is just walking around wondering what you're forgetting. And that means Come on. don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come on. That'll do. <laughs> that will have to do. Oh, oh. Some stuff has gone up. So the diet soda. The eight pack of eggs. This is a Ooh. customer announcement. I'm not saying your perfume is too strong. I'm just saying the canary was alive before you got here. What else? What else? What else? It was like four things. The hand soap, and that's been selling it like wildfire. I'll be right with you, fellas. The hand soap. What else was there? Oh yeah, and the bara, bada, bada. Sorry, sorry, I'm here now. And 28.5, there you go, sir. And one twenty thirty, there you go. There we go, thank you. One twenty, there you go. Oh, please, get out. Right, so we need more of that milk. Milk. Two seconds, I'll be right with you, ma'am. Lord, you bought a nice little pile here. Planning for the apocalypse, are we? Oh, and the right change as well. Right, we need another bread and another powdered sugar. Bread. Sugar. Oh, oh! This is a customer announcement. The first time I got a universal remote control, I thought to myself, Wow, that was a lot of soda. This changes everything. Um, 550, there you go, sir. that we're really desperate for.
What am I missing from here? Is it just another one of these? Maybe some chocolate? This is a customer announcement. They're selling chocolate! Chocolate! Yeah. What? What are they selling? Chocolate! What? Chocolate! I can't hear you! They're selling chocolate! They're selling chocolate! Yeah. Chocolate! Hi ma'am, how are you? There we go. And some chocolate. Oh Jesus, that chocopex really flies off the shell. Oh, I'm stuck behind the door. Find everything you were looking for today? I sure hope so. Okay, sir. There we go. Uh, Sixty-two dollars on the nose. Fifty nine forty, sir. There you go. Oh, the same as him. Matches, matchy, matchy twenty twenties. Wow, three. Whoa, okay, four exactly. Thank you, sir. Oh my God, you love your tears. Um, one, two, fifty. There you go, sir. And sixty four eighty. There you go. So he's moaning he can't find bleach. Right, so we need another bleach. We need hand. And we need the blue stuff. I don't know what that is though. What's it called? This is a customer announcement. I hate when I'm about to hug someone really attractive and then my face hits the mirror. Oh, it's past nine. Okay, we'll just have to wait till tomorrow then. Today has been a day for cleaning, apparently. Everybody wants to clean. Excuse me, I will just get rid of this. Off you go! Fifty six seventy, sir. There you go. But I think that's the most yogurt I've seen and selling in my life in this game. Where's the chickens? Still got some chickens there. Good evening, sir. Someone's got a sweet tooth. There you go. Right. God, we sold quite a lot of tea. That's the thing. See, when you're helping on the checkout, you don't notice what Billy Bob's selling. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking, like, do do we get another, um, couple of shelves, but not entirely sure. Hmm. 
and we have the money to just go all out because what I would really love is just like one full side of each product but that's going to need another so many shelves like that's going to be one shelf so that's one two three four so that's two five six seven eight Yep. How much is the next expansion, actually? Take a look at that in a second. Oh, 2,600. Okay. Not happening anytime soon. Unless, like, I just restrict... No, because they, they honestly fly off the shelves. Really need to keep them at, like, the full thing, because... They hardly, um, you get four in a box. You've hardly got any great amount at one time. The most you've got is like, what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four, sixteen of each. And in other products, you've got way more. Why am I taking an empty box? I mean, there's probably way more than 16 milks in there, just because they fit nice on the, the shelf. So I think what we should do is no more big spending, just keep reordering what we need. And... Keep going till we've got enough for maybe the next license. Possibly. The expansion, I don't know. Because with the expansion comes more shelves. And all the other fun bits and bobs that come with it. Before I ever buy a license or expand, I always like to know that I've got at least enough money to buy the shelves and fridges or whatever needed. Because otherwise there's no point. The cost, like I've said before in many other videos, the customers somehow secretly know that you're meant to have a product and that you don't have it and then all they do is moan i can't find the large sushi how do you know i've even got sushi there's, there's no labels for it out anywhere but they just know right so we probably need a yogurt Yo. So what else have we got in there? The bleach, the hand soap, the blue cleaner. So that's all taken care of. We need another shampoo. Sh shampoo. We need one, two, three potatoes. Four potatoes more. And we need one, two, three, four toilet rolls. Jeez. But that's all we can do right now. So let's enter to finish the day. Total profit. Amazing. Right, so the choco pick's gone up. Holy moly, that hasn't half gone up. 
Right, let's get all that ordered. And then bills. Back to market. So we could probably do with another small eggs and a medium eggs. Um, I think this is all fine for now. We probably need another one of each of the sodas. Um, one cheese. One, I'm just going to get one, one, one. This stuff's all right for now. So now we need a red pasta. Uh, we need a green oil. Peanut butter and honey. Pea. Horn. And, oh goodness, what else, right. I can't believe we've gone through all that tea. Normally the tea lasts me forever. We definitely, so two candies. And uh, um, another chocolate. Chocolate. Um, French fries, pizzas, and like uh, two chickens. <laughs> French fries, pizza, box chickens, two. Um, definitely the bee powdered sugar. So sugar, one of these, B, one of them, is supreme flower, can't remember if I need a craft tongue or for, no, yeah I'll just order one anyway, <clears throat> and this milk. Right, so hopefully that means we are now starting our day with $600 that we're not going to touch. All our taters are full. Right, the milk. There we go. French fries. Chocolate. Coffee. Coffee. Okay, so roughly 600 to start the day off. Just under it. Yeah. 
Ben. Yeah, I think I'll stop keeping stuff up here because I forgot I had all this and I think I've just went and ordered more. But you know, it's not going to go amiss. We'll use it. Don't worry. Okay, so this is a shampoo. Because you're worth it. Right. What is this called? Cagoos or something? I don't know. Yep. Okay, okay. We're slowly getting there. Um, yep, that just filled that, so... Rip. Parmigiano, Reggiano. Oh, that's me stuck behind the door again. The pizza. They are going to be like introducing like stuff that can go out of date. So I'm kind of wondering like are they going to make it so that you'll have to buy like fridges and freezers and that as well for your stock room otherwise like your frozen food's going to like go off kind of thing. They haven't really said like how it's going to work. Um, but apparently we will be getting soon um, self-checkouts, which are going to be bloody amazing. I know people complain about them all the time, but I bloody love them. Any opportunity, as someone who used to be a supervisor in a supermarket, any opportunity that can alleviate any sort of stress from the main checkouts is a godsend. It's just people hate using them. And do you know what? I don't think it's because they're technophobes. You used to get all these people that were like, oh, I'm too old to work these. And I don't know. It's like, wait, listen, you can drive a car, can't you? Yeah. These things aren't half as complicated as driving a car. Trust me. And if you can work a mobile phone, you can most certainly pass a little black and white barcode in front of a screen. It was just bone idled laziness. And then they'd be like, oh... I'm not going to those machines. Those machines have stolen someone's job. Well, no, actually they haven't because, you see, my good friend, is that supermarkets have become like a sort of haven for people. People just love to go to supermarkets now because it's their one-stop shop for everything. They may as well make it like center parts, so like a holiday village. People just love supermarkets and they get to like relive their childhood by bumping into old school friends and you stand in the middle of the aisles and wallop away and chat 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 blocking everybody else like supermarkets are not a fun place to work i tell you that as someone who'd done it for a very long time ever since i was a wee lad um it's not fun and that saying that the customer's always right is absolute bullshit. Half the time they're never right. And I used to take great delight in telling them that. I was never one of these people to be like, Oh, I'm so sorry, let me fix it. Let me discount that for you. Because a lot of the time people would just complain hoping they would get a freebie. Not on my watch. In fact, I'll take more money off you. But no, supermarket staff are sometimes, and most of the time, from my experience, treated like crap. The amount of times I had to tell customers to leave and things like that because they'd upset the staff that I was in charge of. Unbelievable. People think because you work behind a till 
um, that because they can't get what they want, it's all of a sudden your fault. Well, sorry to tell you, my loves, but those poor innocent people that sit on the checkouts and brave your little chit chat day after day, talking about how bad your life is, they're not in control of ordering the stock. <laughs> they don't have a say. It's bloody managers that do it. But yeah, that's why I just had to leave eventually because it was just, it's not a nice environment. And after you've done it for so long, you just get fed up with people's bullshit. Do you know what I mean? You think they're Mr. and Mrs. Universe as soon as they walk through the doors that they're entitled to ever? No, no, you're not. And you know, I used to always say I would love to find out where some of the customers worked that used to come in and cause a scene. And I would love to go to their job and do the exact same. But people seem to think because it's in a supermarket, it's acceptable. Well, how would you like it if I came into your office job, love, and demanded that you fill in all my forms because it's not my job to do so? I remember I had a guy do that one time. So I was working on the customer service desk years ago and obviously every country has some form of like lottery where you have to like fill in a ticket and then there's a draw every weekend or something like that. Even in America they have like lotteries as well as like scratchers and stuff like that, scratch cards. Well we've got the lottery over here and it's as simple as pie to fill out a little slip that you give us. It automatically goes through the lottery machine and it prints out their ticket. And I remember it was really, really busy one day and I was on the customer service by myself and this man came up to me. And now you do have the option to put in numbers manually on the, the machine, but it was heavily frowned upon because say someone came up to you, now in the UK you pick six numbers to win the jackpot, the millions, you've got to get all six numbers. Could you imagine someone came up to me and says, okay, son, can I get number six, 19, 25, 40, and by the end of the six numbers, I've somehow typed in a wrong number. They don't notice. I don't notice. They get home that night and their usual numbers come up. Well, they could get, get absolutely over the moon thinking they've just won the lottery, when in fact they haven't because silly me here's made a clerical error because I've done it manually. And they win nothing. Well, they don't win nothing. They just don't win the jackpot. And then they blame me for it. So we were heavily dissuade from typing it in manually. That's why it's all on the customer. The onus is on the customer. You fill out your own slip. If you get the number wrong, it's your own fault. That's how it works. That's how the world works, baby. So yeah, anyway, back to the story. This guy was like... Um, can I get this, that, that, and that? And he wanted about 12 tickets. I kid you not, not even exaggerating, about 12 tickets. And I said, I'm sorry. I says, I can't do that for you. And he's like, why not? I was like, because if I get one of these numbers wrong and you don't win because of it, I says, who's the one that gets in trouble? Who the, who's the one that's going to get blamed? He's like, well, just don't get them wrong. I says, it's, I, I can promise I'm not going to get them wrong. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. And he's like, well, it's not my job to stand there and write out all these tickets. And I was like, well, actually it is, sir. It's certainly not my job to stand here while I've got a queue with 13 odd people in it to stand here and manually punch in, which would have amounted to over a hundred numbers or something silly like that, because you can't be bothered stepping to the side, which you should have done before you even joined the queue and filled out the little slips like every other normal human being. And all I would have had to do was throw them through the machine and it literally takes a second for it to go through. So of course, me being me, I sent him back to the end of the queue and told him to fill them in or he wasn't getting his tickets. He wasn't happy, but I wasn't doing it. No way. These customers would have you walk home with their bags while they drove home and then have you pack the stuff into their fridge for them and back into their, their cupboards. Because that's how entitled to feel they are. They think because you work for the supermarket and they're the customer, they get whatever they want. Be damned how it makes the staff feel. Sorry, that's not how I deal with people. 
and I never let people away with anything when I worked in that place. And it's quite funny because people used to always say, you know, I, I can't believe the guts you've got with some of these customers. And I'm like, listen, they're not coming in here and disrespecting us. They're not doing it. They're not doing it. Don't do it. Anyway, that's a bit of a rant. Don't work in supermarkets is what I'm trying to say. That's the moral of the story. Right, Billy Bob, are we ready? Yeah, I did fill up the food. Yeah. Oh, could I actually do with one more. Yeah, one more box of chicken. It's not going to go amiss. These chicken daft people. It's actually pretty cheap for a box of chicken. What are they selling for? Nine eighty. It's pretty cheap. This is a customer announcement. Sometimes when I close my eyes, I can't see. Right, let's jump back on the till. We're that kind of boss, we'll help. Sorry for ranting, by the way, friends, but... Over the years, supermarkets have got worse and worse places to work in. They take more and more responsibilities off the managers and pile it onto the, the normal staff. And you don't get any extra pay for it. You don't. And it's just not fair. So I'm glad I'm out of that business now. And 10, 11... Uh, 360. This is a store announcement. I can tell when people are being judgmental just by looking at them. You might wonder what I do for a living now. I'm actually a jelly bean taster. So I work in a jelly bean factory where I test all the jelly beans to make sure the red ones taste like red ones, the green ones taste like green ones, and the yellow ones taste like yellow ones. <laughs> And if you believe that, you're a bigger fool than I thought you were. <laughs> oh, that would be a great job, though. You'd just end up with diabetes, that's the only thing. Excuse me, the green ones taste like strawberry. There's something wrong here. Oh, hey, it's Taylor Swift again. She's graced us with her presence. Hi, Taylor. Do you know, I really need to try and get some soundproofing because I can hear myself echoing and I can also kind of hear it in my um, recordings. But I live in a very old building. It was literally built in like 1880 or something like that. So the ceilings are almost double height old sandstone building. Very annoying to heat. In the summer it's absolutely roasting because the sandstone bricks absorb the heat and they keep it when it's hot. So no matter how many fans you have going at the same time, these bricks just radiate heat. And then in the winter they all, they're the opposite, they store the cold. So no matter how many heaters you have on, you can't get rid of the cold. So it's like you're constantly living in this in-betweeny space where you're kind of hot and there's sometimes you're kind of cold. There's just like no level of comfort really. Thank you, sir. Thank goodness I'm actually a fan of the cold. It's when it's too hot, that's when it really starts to bug me. I would rather be too cold than too hot, because if you're too cold, you can just add on more layers. If you're too hot, you have to start taking layers off, and well, there's only so many layers you can take off before you start to get in trouble. You couldn't find Basmati. Don't you lie to me. I've got... Where is it? This is a customer announcement. I had my credit card stolen from me the other week, but I didn't report it. Because they spent less than I do. 
it's, it'll be all in the newspapers now. Taylor Swift visits local store, couldn't find rice, very disappointed, ruined her entire North American tour. Uh, 30 cents. Lovely. Wasn't too hard to work out. How are we doing? It looks like bleach is running out again. That bloody bleach. What are you all doing with the bleach? It's like a new Tide Pod challenge going about, but instead of eating Tide Pods, she's are down in bleach. Gonna leave that there. What's missing from here? <laughs> Bread. Wow, that was quite expensive for what he bought. Really? Get out. What what can you not find? It's too expensive. Jesus, you moan over anything, you people. Bread. One, two. Purchase. I will be right back. Oh, that box is in my way. I was like, what the hell? Why am I not running? Right. Oh! Are you doing like that soda pop challenge where you like pour salt into it and watch it explode? Look, they really need to fix her hair, it's so distracting. Hey Dr. Evil, how are you? Invented any death rays lately? 20 cents, there you go sir. Wow, you've got a lot. And 65, 60. There you go, sir. Uh, 61, 80. There you go. God, that's nice profits. 1,920. Wow, you have a lot of cereal. Oh, the orange juice. Oh, you're back, Taylor. Hi. This is a customer announcement. If you're thinking of coming back to shop here again, don't. What did he just say? He moaned about something, but I missed it. One, two, three, ten. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> right, well, this is another kind of longish episode. It's taken us so long now to bloody stock these shelves. Oh. Right, well, I think at least our money is slowly building up. <clears throat> That's us got, like, nearly $2,200. How much profit did we make? 558 We did buy a lot, though. But, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. This is where I'm going to end this one. I don't want episodes to be too long. Although I don't mind watching them, a lot of other people don't. So if you do want longer comments, my longer comments if you do want longer episodes just let me know i'm easy ozy i could record for way longer in fact sometimes i forget to check how long i've been recording because i just get lost in the sauce but yeah thanks for your time me and billy bob really appreciate it he's almost fully rehabilitated into society and he has got much better use of his thumbs now thanks guys he's 
He's really appreciated. He tried to scribble a thank you note the other night and ended up just tearing through the paper. God bless his little heart. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video. I'm just going to stop talking now. See ya! Wow. 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 Wow.